it's something that I have had a personal response to. So like the government cuts story, um, I just thought the way that that happened was I walked up to High Bank because I had a um, rocking horse whenever I was very young that was made by ex-prisoners. So I went up to High Bank just to talk to them about it, just to see, you know, can you still get things like this or do you still do stuff like this? And then whenever I walked in, I just spoke to this lady who was working in the visitor centre and she was kind of the head of rehabilitation and she was so angry whenever I met her and it was because two days previously all of the rehabilitation department basically had been cut and I just walked into the room and I just cried because I just felt like I had that feeling of you know if you like walk into some on somebody's and they're having a shower or getting changed I just thought you know it's so stupid why you know I shouldn't have seen that and I just thought if I don't if I don't knit these figures for myself then I have to do it for the look on her face because I just thought you know she was the one who was left to clean up the mess and it wasn't fair that she had to do it on her own so I just wanted to make people aware of it and from doing that like my response to them with the like the sad faces knitted onto them and things people look at them and they go oh they're so sad you know I want to hold them I want to hold them whenever they hear what it's about they're like oh that's that's happened in my town like whenever I was in London, there, everyone was saying, oh yeah, it's happening with us, it's happening here too. And um, it's just getting the word out. I think that, you know, that that's not okay. <laughs> Three nipping. <laughs>